We bring you warm greetings from the southern United States, where nestled in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains lies a beautiful flower waiting to be discovered. It is the crowning jewel of one of the youngest dioceses in America and has significant historic roots in our country's civil war, dating back to the middle of the 18th century. It was built by faithful Catholics who sacrificed a great deal when times were tough in the midst of our civil war to bring to life a living witness to the presence of God in Tennessee. In the design process, they found creative ways to also honor the great country that immigrated to from all over Europe. Saints Peter and Paul has been standing tall for over 170 years and shines as a beacon to the faithful who make up the smallest per capita Catholic population in the United States. Uh, I, there are four things at Saints Peter and Paul Church in Chattanooga that I would like to call to your attention. First of all is the stained glass windows. There are 14 uh, full-size stained glass windows in the church. Uh, they have uh, seven events in the life of St. Peter and then seven events in the life of St. Paul. Uh, they uh, take uh, in, you can find out um, what the passage is. The passage of the window that's being depicted is actually placed toward the bottom of the window. Uh, the first six events in each of them's life is from the scriptures and the final event is the way that they they uh, ultimately paid the price of their faith by dying, by experiencing human death. There is a 15th window that is back behind the pipe organ, and it consists of the seal of the, uh, the United States of America, and it was originally intended to include the 13 colonies of, original colonies of our country. Father Walsh, who was the pastor at that time, thought that our first loyalty was to God and our second loyalty, loyalty was to uh, our country. Um, the, the church can, has a pipe organ. It's original to this church building of, in 1890. It has been expanded and it has been rebuilt in, in, throughout the history of the parish. Uh, it is the oldest uh, pipe organ continuously in use in a church in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The, the church contains the Stations of the Cross, which were built, were, which were designed and made by a French artist. Uh, they were a couple of years late arriving from France for the dedic for, to be placed in the church. The church was dedicated in 1890. Uh, the, stain, the Stations of the Cross were hung in 1892. Uh, there are uh, 1,300 figures in the Stations of the Cross. Perhaps the most interesting thing to most of us about the Stations of the Cross is there's a centurion who is assigned to the duty of taking Jesus uh, to be crucified. And a little over halfway through when Jesus is crucified, uh, he, he becomes a believer, and so the artist in the last three sta stations of the cross has a halo on the centurion because, because of the death of, of Jesus, he became a believer. Saints Peter and Paul Parish was originally supposed to be built in 1862, but the Civil War in the United States uh, prevented that from happening, so it was to the it was not until the late 1880s that the church was, was started to be built. Father Walsh was the pastor at the time, and they, uh, they built the church uh, facing, uh, well, the windows face east and west, and that is a, a wonderful thing because of the sunshine to accent the windows. Uh, the Catholic community was very much uh, in vogue in, in paying for and in, in building the church. St. Peter and Paul Church was established in 1852, not on this property, but a, was first located in a small building that had been converted into chapel. Shortly thereafter, they attained this property on which we are today, and they built a church um, and it was the intention to not use it for very long and to build the current church. But the Civil War came along and it was not, and that prevented it from being built when it was intended. 
the church was used as a hospital and, and during the yellow fever epidemic, and the pastor at the time, Father Ryan, contracted the disease and ultimately died of yellow fever. This church was begun in the late 1880s and was finished and dedicated on June 29, 1890. Hello, I bring you warm greetings from the Diocese of Knoxville in Tennessee. We are the smallest diocese in the United States per capita, but growing every day. We are a young diocese founded in 1988, but we have great hopes for the future. I am Bishop Rick Sticka, and I'd like you to consider this video a part of our formal petition to the Holy Father to have Saints Peter and Paul Catholic Church recognized as a minor basilica. Saints Peter and Paul is our crown jewel and a real and true treasury of Christian art. She is a combination of beauty, of history, of patriotism, and most of all, the powerful and long-standing witness of faith to the people of God who have worshipped on this site for 175 years. Some of the great epic battles of America's Civil War were waged nearby. The building of Saints Peter and Paul coincides with the painful era of Reconstruction, but shows the spirit of perseverance through trials both of natural and man-made. The church grounds served as an emergency hospital during the terrible yellow fever outbreak of 1878, and the disease even claimed the life of its then pastor. In the present day, Saints Peter and Paul continues to inspire the faithful in many different ways. The windows of this great church are magnificent. They're colorful and they depict the lives and the martyrdom of the patron saints, Peter and Paul. They were made of priceless Tiffany glass. And you know, the Stations of the Cross have over 300 people depicted in them, which shows symbolically the many faces of our faith community. Having this magnificent church recognized as a basilica would also recognize the faith and the struggles of Catholics in East Tennessee which make up just 3% of the population, and their perseverance and faithfulness through many trials and joys. The church in East Tennessee has been growing for 175 years in spite of its unique situation in a predominantly Protestant environment. Having Saints Peter and Paul named a basilica would recognize the struggles of the faithful and help further our mission to show forth to all the Catholic faith that has much to offer here in the Diocese of Knoxville. We wait in expectant hope, a favorable response from the Holy Father. Saints Peter and Paul is our most heartfelt and beautiful flower, and we are proud to share her story with all of you in Rome. And so we place this petition before you, and through the intercession of Saints Peter and Paul, we wait with a joy-filled and hopeful heart for a positive response. God bless you.